guys, Melissa here. I have a song in my head. I don't even know what it's called. I want nothing else for another. Anyway, so today I'm going to be reviewing Beauty Counter. Again, I'm not selling anything. If you're not familiar with Beauty Counter, um, you reach out to a consultant if you're interested in purchasing. Um, so I found out some interesting things. Um, there is a organization, and I, I don't know what it stands for, but it's EWG. So you can go to EWG.org, and it's actually, um, they do a, a lot of verification on natural products, and um, they have a seal that you can look for, but actually there are so many um, ingredients used in skincare products and cosmetics that we use here in the United States that are banned in other countries. And so what they do is they are verifying products and then they post them in a database. And, um, but I'm not gonna go beyond that, but I do wanna say that Beauty Counter does have some products that are verified. So if you're looking for the all natural, completely safe route, that's one positive that I found out. Again, the website is ewg.org. So first, I wanna start out and review five products. Um, and I'm gonna talk about the cleansing balm first. And so this is a smaller size. I'm not sure if it's a sample or what, but the what you'll find on their website, beauty, beautycounter.com, is um, a 2.75 ounce, and this is 1.5, twice as big on this. Um, it's $80. So that price alone for a beauty balm, is a little hard to swallow. I have a love-hate relationship with Beauty Balms. I want to love them. I really, really do. I did enjoy using this. It has raspberry and cranberry seed oil, um, so it's really packing in the vitamin C. You can also use it as kind of a, a an intense mask, if you will. Um, I use the olive oil. Um, I mentioned that in another video. I use olive oil as a, a first step to my cleanse. I put it on. So this is going to be the same thing. Um, it has a very, very light fragrance. And like all beauty balms, kind of has a sorbet kind of feel to it. And it comes with a spatula and you can use that and it kind of melts it's like coconut oil honestly it melts right away I rub it on and I use a hot steamy washcloth to rub it off it works very well it removes the makeup very well and it feels really good and then I go into my step 2 cleanse with my regular cleanser um, I noticed that um, according to the studies that Beauty Counter did on this balm that 100% saw an increase in hydration in their skin. I would probably not fork out the money for this. However, I enjoyed using it and um, it did remove my makeup very well. And it, beyond cleansing, being a makeup remover, um, it has benefits for your skin, nourishing and hydration, um, vitamin C, which helps brighten the skin. Um, that's a plus. Everything else I'm going to review is their counter match line. This is the adaptive moisture lotion and it's pretty cool as to what it does. This is $49. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. This counter match line is going to be really 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 good if you are looking for intense hydration and I think it's it's really important to keep your skin uh, moisturized uh, because when it gets dry it just really accentuates any fine lines and wrinkles that you already have and um, I do have to say that this counter match line all of the products really left my skin feeling plump and juicy. Out of the products that I'm going to talk about, this one, the Adaptive Lotion, was my least favorite. 
Um, and what I did in trying these was I did one at a time um, under my makeup. So in the morning, I used them at night, and then in the morning I would put one on and then put my foundation and my makeup over it to see uh, how, it, how it wore, if it wore well, um, if it moved around, made my foundation kind of move around when I was applying or throughout the day. I'm pretty sure all of the counter match line has what's called a biomimic technology. It matches exactly your skin's structure. Um, so it's really mimicking plants is what it's doing and using that to moisturize your face. Again, $49. This is going to um, give you 24 hours of hydration and it's going to adjust to the level of hydration that your skin needs throughout the day. Next, a counter match recovery sleeping cream. I really do like this. So this has hyaluronic acid, it has plum oil, is enriched with omegas six and nine, and then it also has something called Terra Gum, which is uh, nutrients from plants. But the really cool thing about this too is that the lid, um, this is it. When you take the lid off, how you get your product is you squeeze this and it comes out the top. And you know, if you're into the zip popping thing, that might be kind of um, fulfilling for you because that's what it just reminded me, honestly. Um, I know that's super gross. Thick, creamy, and the best thing I would say about these products besides that they hydrate really well is they absorb into the skin. They do not whatsoever leave your skin feeling oily or greasy that you find with some moisturizers and that you find with facial oils. So what I do is I cleanse my skin. I, I did still use my Good Genes, which is my lactic acid treatment. And then I would put the sleeping mask over it. I would put on my eye cream, which I'm gonna talk about next. And then I would do my last step, which I'm gonna talk about too. Um, so this again is kind of rejuvenating and repairing your skin uh, while you sleep, just giving your skin a lot of nutrients. And um, the reason this cap is like this is because and it keeps air from getting to the product. So it's not gonna oxidize anything. It's not gonna break any ingredients down. So you're getting the freshest of the fresh. And that's what that um, dispense mechanism. It's a big one. So next is the eye cream. I loved this eye cream. I found out very quickly that a little bit goes a long way. And it's $39 and it has um, phytic acid and betaine, I think I'm saying that right, squalane, which I thought was squalene, but anyway, the squalane is what it says on here, draws moisture to your skin. Betaine and phytic acid increase oxygenation and helps relieve that tired look, um, increasing the oxygen flow. Yeah, man. A little bit goes a long way. I, f I found this out very quickly. I just, I, I'm not even kidding. I do that much. I know it seems ridiculous, but I kid you not. Dot it just like that. And you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's the weakest and it's the easiest. And yes, I have makeup on, but I'm not going to waste it. And it's so much that you can really just go beyond kind of get that crow feet area which crow's feet i don't really have yet thank god i love this eye cream they feel hydrated and honestly i've had a battle i keep saying i can't find a concealer that doesn't make my eyes crease and crack where i have those little fine lines and this has done the best job that i have found um, keeping them plumped up. Yes, it still creases, but I've only been using it like four or five days. So, um, yes, I would buy this again. Yes, I would buy the sleeping mask, sleeping cream again. And last but not least is my favorite. It is the Counter Match Intense Moisture Serum. And it is a serum. 
It comes in this bottle. You squeeze the top and it comes out and you just get some you just get some these are all water-based so again they're not greasy oily this absorbs amazing and I I really do like this a lot so I put this on last after the sleeping cream at night this has two forms of hyaluronic acid in it it has vitamins C and E, and it is $48, and this would last a really long time. This wore beautifully under my foundation. I did wear the adaptive moisture underneath. I didn't like it as much. You know, we all have our preference, and I'm just saying if I had to pick, I would pick the Intense Moisture Serum over the Adaptive Moisture Lotion. Um, I've just really enjoyed trying these. Um, this is my biggest no, I would say, because um, just for the price, the price alone. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products, I have a link below um, where you can order. Um, very safe. They are a green company, a natural company, and um, I've enjoyed uh, reviewing them and trying them out. So if you have any questions, drop a comment below, ask me. Um, I would love to know what kind of videos you want to see. I've been thinking about doing a tour of my makeup organization and just kind of going through my favorites. Um, I used to keep everything like in one big bucket and I have it super organized now. I love it. I have all my brushes kind of organized and I kind of want to do a video on that. So if you want to try any of these beauty counter products that I reviewed and talked about today, like the Eye Rescue Cream or the Intense Moisture Serum, my two favorites, then mention my channel name when you reach out to Michelle. Don't forget the link is below and you'll get 10% off. Please yeah. subscribe.